Good morning, my dear student. How are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. I'm also well. This is Kusu Zaman for Master and Preparatory KG School before you. Today, I'm going to take your English second paper of class 3. My dear student, before going to the today's lesson, I'll ask you the previous lesson. Have you prepared your lesson? Yes. Let me see. Okay, my dear student, exercise 4, noun, lesson 9. Find out noun and show their types. So, my dear student, at first you have to find out the nouns from the sentence and you have to tell what kind of nouns are these, okay? So, first one, Munir goes to school. So, in this sentence, which one is a noun? Okay, this is Munir. Okay, my dear student, Munir is noun. So, can you tell me what kind of noun? Yes, this is proper noun, okay? This is proper noun. Can you tell me why? Because it's the particular name of a person. Milk. So, milk is an ideal food. So, my dear student, can you tell me which one is noun? Yes, milk. So, can you tell me what kind of noun is this? Yes, this is a material noun. M-A-T-E-R-I-A-L, material noun. Can you tell me why? Because milk cannot be counted. We cannot count. That's why this is a material noun. Honesty is the best quality. Can you tell me which one is noun? Yes, honesty, okay? So, can you tell me what kind of noun is this? Yes, this is abstract noun. Today's lesson is verb. So, what will be the learning outcome of today's lesson? So, my dear student, you can see at the end of the lesson, student will be able to say the definition of different verbs, recognize the different type of verbs, and to use the verbs correctly in the sentences. So, my dear student, I'll tell you, be very attentive to watch the class. Okay? My dear student, today's new lesson is verb. So, at first, we have to know what is verb. So, here is the definition of verb. A verb is a word that tells or asserts something about a person or thing. In another way, we can say the definition of verb is a word that shows an action is called a verb. As for example, I go to school. Here you can see, I go to school. Here go, this is the word which shows an action. And here you can see, we eat rice. Here you can see it, this word shows an action, okay? So, my dear student, then we'll know how many kinds of verbs. So, here you can see, verb is mainly divided into two types. And they are, first one is finite verb and non-finite verb. My dear student, now we'll learn the definition of finite and non-finite verb. Okay, my dear student. So, finite verb. A finite verb is a verb that gives us the complete meaning of a sentence. It's called a finite verb. As for example, they play cricket. So, here play is finite verb. It gives us the complete meaning of this sentence. And another sentence, he writes a letter. So, here writes is finite verb and it also gives us the complete meaning of this sentence and one thing you have to remember my dear student that according to the subject mood and tense the form of the verbs will be changed okay and that's why here is subject they third person plural that's why here is no s or es in the present tense but here as the sentence is present in definite tense and the subject is third person singular number so s is added with the verbs okay 
Now, the definition of non-finite verbs. A non-finite verb is a verb that does not give us the full meaning or complete meaning of a sentence. As for example, he wants to play. Here you can see he wants to play. Here wants is finite verb and to play is non-finite verb. To play here non-finite verb. It does not give us the complete meaning of the sentence. They wants to go to school. Here to go is non-finite verb. So here to go is also not giving us the full meaning of the sentence. That's why these are the non-finite verb. But here you can see this is wants and want. So these are the finite verb and it has changed its form. Okay. Because the subject according to the subject. Okay. But here you can see to play to go here is not it's changing its form according to the subject. Okay. My dear student, now we'll learn the principal and auxiliary verb. You know that finite verb is divided into two types and they are principal verb and auxiliary verb. What is principal verb? Principal verb is a verb that expresses the full meaning of a sentence without the help of other verbs. Okay. As for example, I eat rice. Here it is the principal verb. So here it can express the full meaning of this sentence. So here it is the principal verb. And what is auxiliary verb? Auxiliary verb is a verb that helps the principal verb to express the complete sense of a sentence. Okay, my dear student. The another name of auxiliary verb is helping verb. That means, what is the main work of auxiliary verb? The main work of auxiliary verb is to help the principal verb, okay? As for example, I'm eating rice or he is going to school. Here you can see am eating. Here eating is the principal verb and am is the auxiliary verb. So here am is helping the verb eating, okay? To express the meaning, okay? That means to express the Continuous meaning, auxiliary verb am is helping the verb eating. And here is is helping the principal verb going to express the meaning of continuous tense. Okay. My dear student, now we will learn auxiliary verb. Already we have learned the definition of auxiliary verbs. Auxiliary verb is a verb that helps the principal verb to express the full meaning of a sentence. So my dear student, Auxiliary verb is divided into two types and they are primary auxiliary and modal auxiliary. Okay, my dear student, what are the primary auxiliary verb? So, primary auxiliary verb is we, have, and do. So, my dear student, you know that the, there are two forms of these verbs. Okay? So, V verb, present form of V verb is M, H, R. And past form of V verb is was and were. And this is the perfect form. And present form of have verb is have and had. And past form of have verb is had. So present form of do verb is do and does. And past form of do verb is did. So, my dear student, these verbs are very important because when we want to make question, then this verb will be needed. Now, modal auxiliary. At first, we have to know that what is modal auxiliary. Modal auxiliary verb is a verb that can change our mood. That's why its name is modal auxiliary. That means it can change our mood. Okay. That's why its name is modal auxiliary. Okay. So my dear student, modal auxiliary verb has two forms, present and past. So here, shall present, past, should. Will present, would past. Can present, could past. May present, might past. 
and there is no past form of must okay so my dear student and there are some extra modal auxiliary verb and they are be to have to be going to need dear ought to used to so my dear student these auxiliary verbs are very important but you have to memorize these verb okay like poems in what way okay let's see how to memorize okay my dear student you will say like this am e jar was or been have has had do does did shall should we would can could may might must be to have to be going to need dear used to again i'm telling am e jar was or been have has had do does did shall should we would can could may might must be to have to be going to used to dear and ought to like this way you will memorize okay my dear student my dear student now we will learn the uses of be verb so my dear student at first we have to know what are be verbs and which persons are used okay my dear student be verbs are used in two forms present form and past form okay so in present form there are three be verbs am it are my dear student and in past form was and were so you have to remember that in which person these verb are used in first person that means am is used for the first person singular number is is used for the third person singular number and are for the other persons was were was is used for the first and third person singular number and where is where is used for the other persons so my dear student now we'll do some sentences i am a teacher here you can see i is the first person so here is written in first person singular number am so here i am a teacher we first person plural here you can see third person singular am third person singular is and for the first person singular am but other person that means we can we, here we in other person that's why we are rich amra dhoni you here you can see you for the other person so you are here are you are honest he she that means third person singular number here is written third person is third person singular number is so he she is a boy or girl she is a girl or he is a boy for the it it is third person singular number so it is an apple they they third person plural here is written for other person that means they is other person so they are here is written are they are foolish the boy which number or person third person singular number so the, the boy is brave and the subject is third person plural number so for third person plural number are will be used so the boys are not players my dear student now will use the was were in different places such as i first person singular number here is written for the first person and third person singular number was will be used 
So here is I, first person singular number. So I was a doctor. We, first person plural. So here, first person and third person singular was, but in for other person, where will be used. So here, we were in the garden. You were a teacher. Second person, she a teacher. So you for other person. He or she. He was a player. She was a player. It was a pencil. It third person singular number. So here was will be used. It was a pencil. They. This is the subject is third person plural number. So they were student for these places. They were students. The boy, third person, singular number. So what verb will be used was the boy was intelligent. The boy is as third person plural. So where will be used? The boys were in the field. So my dear student, again I am telling. B verbs are used in two forms, in present form and in past form. In present form, three verbs will be used, am, is, are, are for the first tense, was and were will be used, okay. So for the present tense, am is are, for the past tense, was are. My dear student, now we learn different kinds of principal verb. So here you can see principal verb is divided into two types and they are transitive verb and intransitive verb. So at first we we'll know what is transitive verb. So here you can see the verb that takes an object to make the sense complete or to express the full meaning of a sentence is called transitive verb. Here you can see Rubina writes a letter. So here, writes is a transitive verb. So here, writes verb has taken an object a letter. If, if you erase the object later, then it does not give us the complete meaning. Rubina write, then it will be a question, what does she write? So if you write the letter, a letter, an object, then it will express the full meaning. Okay. So another way to know the transitive verb, you have to ask two questions to the verbs. One question is with what and another one is whom. If you make question verb to the verb that what does Rubina write, then the answer will be a letter. So this is transitive verb. So if you get the answer of the question what, then it will be transitive verb. And if you don't get any answer of that question what, then it will be intransitive verb. Okay, so look here, intransitive verb. The verb that does not take an object to make the sense complete or to express the full meaning of a sentence is called intransitive verb. As for example, birds fly, the baby sleeps. So here you can see my dear student. So the verb fly does not need to express the full meaning uh, of the sentence, any object, okay? Fly verb does not need any object to make the full meaning, okay? So here uh, birds fly, this is fly is intransitive verb. And if you make question, what does it fly? But here is already written birds fly. So you cannot make question, what does it fly? That's why you can understand that the difference between the transitive and intransitive verb. Okay, my dear student? My dear student, now we'll find out the verbs from the following sentences, okay? So here you can see exercise five, page 21. Find out the verb from the following sentences. 
So here you can see these are the examples of sentences. So he goes to a school. So find out the verb here. First one. Which one is the verb? Yes, my district. Here goes. Okay. Here goes is the verb. So whenever you will write the answer in the answer script, then you will write A then goes. Okay. So now we'll give the underline only. Second one, Salam sings a song. Which one is verb? Yes, yes, sings is the verb. Third one, I see a bird. Can you tell me which one is verb? Yes, I see a bird. Which one is action word? Yes, this is an action word. They play football. Which one is verb? They is a pronoun, football is noun. So which one is action word? Yes, play. We live in a village. So which one is action word? We, pronoun. Okay, and live? Yes, this one is action word. That means this is verb. R runner writes a letter. So can you tell me which one is the action word? Yes, runner is noun, a letter is noun. So here you can see writes. Right is the action word that means this is the verbs. Mahin is oil. Which one is action word? Yes, is. We drink water. So can you tell me which one is verb? Yes, drink. Birds fly in the sky. Which one is verb? Fly. Do the sum. This is imperative sentence. So here, do is the verb. I walk in the morning. So can you tell me which one is the verb? Yes, walk. This is an action word. This is verb. This beggar is blind. Which one is verb? Yes. So my student, now tell me what kind of verb is this? So here you can see this is principal verb, principal verb, principal verb, principal verb, principal verb. This is also principal verb. This is an auxiliary verb. This is principal verb, principal verb. Huh? This is principal verb and this is principal and this is an auxiliary verb. Okay, my dear student. So, you will write the answer like this way. Okay, my dear student. Now, we will... Fill in the blanks with appropriate verbs from exercise 6, page 21. So here you can see I dash rice. Can you tell me what verbs can we write here? Yes, my dear student, I dash rice. Okay, so here we can write I eat rice. Second one, we dash at night. What do you do at night? Yes, we sleep. We sleep at night. Belal dash happy. What verbs can you write here? Yes, is verb. Belal is happy. We dash in Bangladesh. Okay, what verbs? Yes, we live. We live in Bangladesh and I dash a book. What do we do a book? Yes, my dear student, we read a book. Then, Mina dash a letter. What does Mina do? That means Mina writes. Mina writes. A later. What does your name? What verbs can we write here? Yes. Is. What is your name? Runa dash a song. Okay. So what verbs can we write here? Yes. Sings. 
S I N Z S S. This is subject third person singular number. So in present indefinite tense, S or S yes will be added with the verbs, and that's why I have added S with the verbs. And here you can see Mina. Mina is also third person singular number, and that's why as this is the present indefinite tense, so S is added with the verbs. Next one, my dear student, I. The sun dash in the west. So here, what verbs can you write here? The sun sets. S E T S sets in the west. Okay. Mahin dash in the river. What does he do in the river? Okay. Swims is W I M S and this is third person singular number and this is also third person singular number and that's why is is added with the verbs. The fisherman dash fish. So here, here you can see the subject is third person singular number. So here you can write cases C A T C H E S. Okay. So the fisherman catches fish. Dash the door. Okay. What words can you write here? Open. O P E N. Open the door. The child dash. What does the child do? Okay. The child. We can say the child plays. P L A Y A is the child plays. The good boys dash. What does the good boy, what do the good boy do? Yes, the good boys tells the truth. T E W -L, L tell the truth. My dear student here S or E S will not be used because this is third person plural number. Subject is third person plural number. My father dash a doctor. So what words can you write here? My father father is a doctor. Now, in feedback, I'll see how much attentive you are in my class, okay? So tell me, what is verb? Yes, a verb is a word that shows an action. Or in another way we can see, verb is a word that tells or asserts something about a person or thing okay my dear student thank you next one what is transitive and intransitive verb yes transitive verb is a verb that takes an object to make the sense complete and what is intransitive verb yes intransitive verb is a word that does not take an object to make the sense complete okay okay thank you my dear student for being attentive in my class my dear student now i'll give you homework so open your diary okay so my dear student your home homework number will be 14 so here exercise 5 6 write page 21 self-learning grammar book okay my dear student